Well, Kyler Murray is back. He made his return to the NFL last Sunday against the Falcons, and he won. How about that, Kyler Murray? It wasn't an amazing game, to be fair. 19 for 32, 249 yards, no touchdowns and a pick. He does rush for a touchdown on the ground, the signature Kyler Murray rushing touchdown. And he got the win in a game where the Falcons starting quarterback, Taylor Heineke, went down with a concussion. <clears throat> Desmond Ritter had to fill in. Desmond Ritter filled in admirably. He actually rushed for a touchdown himself. Uh, B. John Robinson having a nice game for himself. But... Ultimately, the Falcons' offense was pretty inept outside of the second quarter when they scored two touchdowns. The Falcons were held to three field goals in the second half, and the Cardinals come out on top by two points, 25-23. to It was a game-winning field goal off the foot of Blake Gillikin. Or, excuse me, off the foot of Matt Prater. Matt Prater, by the way, 4-4. Good game for him. <clears throat> Greg Dortch has a nice game on the returning side of things. And Trey McBride, the backup tight end who's filling in for Zach Ertz. Eight receptions for 130 yards. He had an incredible game. James Conner's back. And the Cardinals are now 2-8. and eight. So the question is, what are the Cardinals going to do if they keep winning? Because everyone was saying the Cardinals are going to draft Caleb Williams. But Kyler Murray looks like he doesn't want that to happen. He says... No, you're not drafting Caleb. You're keeping me. Remember me? I'm the guy you took with the first overall pick four years ago, and I'm back, and I'm healthy, and I'm playing well, and I'm taking accountability for when I do bad, like he did in his post-game interview. And I'm going to be the franchise leader you drafted me to be. You give me that extension. I'll lock it up. Right? They offered him that extension. He signed. Now, they could, they could get out of the contract if they really wanted to. They could trade him if they really wanted to. But Kyler wants to stay in there. You think Kyler wants to go to a new team and worry about getting a new contract? No. He wants to stay in Arizona, and, and he knows. Ky Kyler's better than Drake May. Kyler's better than Bo Nix. Kyler's better than Michael Penix. He's better. There's only one quarterback in the draft who I would take over Kyler from a few, for the future. And that quarterback is Caleb. Right now, Caleb would be going to the Bears. He'd be the first, the first overall pick is currently owned by the Panthers. And that pick, or, the first overall pick would go to the Panthers. Their pick is owned by the Bears. So Caleb's going to the Bears. Kyler Murray says, all I have to do is keep on winning. And we're not going to get the number one pick. And I get to stay, I get to keep my job. Justin Fields, he doesn't have that luxury. Because Justin Fields can win as many games as he wants for the Bears, and they're still going to own the Panthers' pick. So Justin Fields is sitting here saying, go Bryce Young, right? Because I think Justin Fields is better than Drake May, too. I think Fields would also, it's in the same scenario as Kyler, where it's Caleb or you stick to your guy. So Justin Fields is saying, let's go Bryce Young, win some games. And, the, and you know what team Fields wants to lose? He's saying Giants and Patriots, 2-8. and eight. Just, just, just keep losing. Justin Fields, it would be if, if the Giants get the number one pick or the Patriots get the number one pick, that would be a dream come true for Fields. Because then the Giants would take Caleb or the Patriots, and then the, the Bears would probably take Marvin Harrison with the second pick. And then, all of a sudden, instead of getting replaced, Justin Fields gets a new wide receiver one. It's a dream come true for him, so Justin Fields is silently rooting for the Panthers and against the Cardinals, Patriots, and, and Giants. Kyler, all he has to do is keep on winning. And those, but all, but all five of those teams, it's going to be very interesting to see who ends up winning the Caleb Williams sweepstakes. I think in the, in the back of their minds, all four teams still want him. But only one can get him. And it'll be interesting to see who does. This is Coast to Coast Sports. Like, subscribe, comment down below. Who do you think ends up getting Caleb? Which quarterbacks keep and lose their jobs next year? And subscribe to the channel for more content just like this one.